Welcome to Philadelphia. This is actually my first time here, so I thought I would share some tidbits of things that I learned while I've been here. So Philadelphia is actually a city of firsts. They had the first zoo, the first library, the first hospital, and so many other things. Speaking of hospitals, one in six U.S. doctors actually study here in Philadelphia. So this is quite the hub for medical education. Philadelphia is located about an hour from the Atlantic coast. So this is quite east compared to other cities here in Pennsylvania. And the population here is about 1.6 million. City Hall is actually the largest municipal building in all of the U.S. In an attempt to get rid of the graffiti that was popping up all over the city in the 80s, they started a mural program here in Philadelphia. 36 years later, it is the biggest in all of the U.S. with over 2,000 murals over the city. And they continue to add about 100 new murals each year. just finished going through the building that's behind me, the National Constitution Center. And it's really interesting. It's kind of three different areas, one permanent exhibit and two temporary ones that are here right now. The main one is called We the People, and that was really fascinating. It's basically a big circle that you walk through and kind of starts with the beginning of the Civil War and what it meant to give voice to the people. And then it ends in modern day, kind of going through different clips of history. this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. Uh, you can kind of just walk through at your own pace and it definitely is very easy to read what you want and then keep moving as it's not very long, but it does just kind of give a quick overview of what it means to be an American. I'm not sure if you recognize the steps behind me, but this is actually from the movie Rocky, where Rocky did some of his training here on these very iconic steps. This is right in front of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So a lot of people also come here to channel their inner Rocky, and if you want to, you can as well. There's a statue of Rocky right next to this, so if you want to take a picture with him, you definitely can. This is kind of a cool little area to see from the movie Rocky. I'm on a street right now called Elfrith's Alley, and it is so cute. It has the name America's Oldest Residential Street, as this goes back to the mid-1700s to 1860s. A lot of immigrants came here as they could live and work nearby. There is a museum that people can visit that is only $3 to where you can get more information, such as 30% uh, of business owners back then were actually women. This is an area that people can still live in, so of the 32 homes that are here, I think they they said 29 have people that live in them so this is a really cool place just to visit and get a little piece of history here this building here behind me is the Philadelphia City Hall and not only is it really wide but it's also really really tall and at the very tip top up there is the statue of William Penn he is the city founder and it's really interesting because they said the statue up there is made of bronze which weighs 53,000 pounds and is 37 feet tall so so if it's that much weight and height, you can imagine what the rest of this is, but it is just a stunning building. I'm down at the Spruce Street Harbor Park, and it's really nice. It's just kind of a little walkway that is here, and you see people kind of just going for a walk, running, whatever. But look at this thing. I mean, this is quite the ship. There's a few others that are also here in the area. But this you can actually do dinner on. So if you are curious to board a old ship, this is called the Mashula, and you can have dinner on this big beauty. I'm not sure if you've seen these before in pictures or movies in Europe. These are typically on bridges over there, but this is the first time that I've seen these here in the US. The idea is that you buy a lock, you write your and your partner's name on here, as well as the date, you put these on the wall or a bridge, and then you throw away the key and you lock up your love forever. There's some really creative ones that are here and kind of been fun to see that I haven't seen anywhere else. 
This is also the first time that I've seen this here in the U.S. Have you by any chance seen these anywhere else in the U.S.? If so, will you put this in the box below of where you've seen them, as I would like to see those as well. Philadelphia has a reputation of being the city of brotherly love, and there's no place better to see that than here in Love Park. This building behind me here houses our Liberty Bell, which is a sign of our American independence. It was made in 1752, but later became a symbol for our independence from England. It has later been used as symbols for women's rights and other things, and just continually serves to be as a symbol for us. Now, if you want to come, there aren't any tickets, so it's free to go in, but because of that, there is quite a line. I got here at 8.15 and it opens at 9, so it was the first one in line that I was able to get in, walk around at my leisure, take as many pictures as I wanted. This is Independence Hall here behind me, and what it's famous for is this is where the Declaration of Independence was signed. And while I wanted to go in, it is a little bit complicated right now. So if you do want to see this, plan this out just a little bit, jump online, see if you can't get tickets, or if you come in a different time, it might be done completely differently. But this is uh, right beside the Liberty Bell building, which is right here. And so you're able to do two for one and get to be a part of this historical place. The market here behind me, Reading Terminal Market, is actually one of the oldest and largest here in the U.S. It's built here in 1893, and you can still come here to this day and get fresh seafood, cheese, even locally or exotic produce. I'm here at the University of Pennsylvania, which was founded in 1740, and it is so pretty just to walk around here and see some of the old buildings. It's just across the river from downtown, and it's just so peaceful to, to be here and see some of the symbols and signs from those times as well as modern day. I just finished going through the Museum of the American Revolution, and as you notice, it doesn't say American Revolutionary War. This really is kind of about the ideas back then and the struggle for not just us to separate from England, but also for women, Native Americans, and how, what their role was between the two countries. It's really interesting, really well done. They have different films that go on in there. One of them is called Washington's War Tent, and I won't give away what happens, but it's a really well done one, and they say that it's kind of the gem of their museum here. But this is a really well done museum, and it'd be one that I honestly would consider coming back to the next time I'm here in Philadelphia. It is just way too hot, so I'm sitting in my van trying to just cool off a little bit. So my thoughts for Philadelphia has been really cool and amazing. It's a very historic town and there's just so much to see here. One of the things I found interesting was all of the really tall, narrow buildings. I've seen those in Europe, but I haven't seen them anywhere else in the U.S. like I have here. One of them was where Thomas Jefferson camped with the Declaration of Independence, the Betsy Ross houses in that style, and some other ones. And so I found that really interesting to see. My three favorite things while I was here was getting to see the beautiful City Hall building, getting to see Elfrith's Alley, so cute. And lastly was the Museum of the American Revolution. That was just really well done. So I'm off to my next stop, and I still have some stuff that I wanted to show you for Philadelphia, but instead of making this on a lot longer video, what I'm gonna do is just make a little section called Honorable Mentions, and I will say goodbye with these. <laughs>